Well, time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. I'm joined by James Creedon. Hello, James. Hi, Tom. Um, now, you've been looking at a photo doing the rounds on social media that claims to show Ukrainian forces preventing civilians from fleeing the conflict. Tell us more. That's right. So this is an image that has got a huge amount of traction online. It's been on uh, news websites. It's been on tweets all over the place. And it shows in Irpin, which is uh, about 20 kilometers to the north uh, uh, west of uh, the capital, uh, Kiev, um, tens, if not hundreds, of Ukrainian civilians uh, hidden kind of in under or t taking shelter, as it seems, under a bridge. Now, the, w the way that photo has been explained to uh, uh, people on Twitter and elsewhere is the Ukrainian army has been preventing uh, civilians from uh, from fleeing. So, of course, the whole issue of humanitarian corridors and how to allow Ukrainians to flee a conflict in various uh, urban areas of uh, Ukraine is a major topic of uh, conversation right now. And this image was being used to argue that the Ukrainian forces are actually themselves participating in, in, in I suppose, uh, preventing Ukrainians from getting out of very difficult situations. You can see this tweet here as well saying, armed forces of Ukraine prevent evacuation of civilian population of Irpin. Now, that is not true, in fact, because if you if you do a reverse image search on that particular image, it'll take you back to the source of the image. It was uh, uh, taken by Emilio uh, Morinati, the photographer for Associated Press. You can see that image here again. And indeed, if you look at other images in that same report, you can see Ukrainian soldiers assisting uh, Ukrainian uh, civilians in leaving uh, the particular uh, situation that they were in under that bridge. It was a temporary moment. Uh, the bridge had been destroyed by the Ukrainian forces to prevent uh, the advance of uh, Russian troops, to slow down their advance at least. But this uh, this image, I suppose frozen in time, gave the impression uh, that these Ukrainian civilians were not being allowed uh, to leave. In fact, if you want further uh, um, further evidence, Le Monde, as well as indeed our, old, or our own Cyril Payan in various reports, you can see in those reports uh, civilians crossing the bridge uh, in, in, in the live reporting that, have been, that has been done by Cyril Payan and others. And uh, as I showed you there as well, Tom, that photo uh, in the very same report uh, that was used, uh, um, uh, where the photos of um, Emilio uh, Morinati were used and where one photo was being misused or uh, in order to misrepresent the reality, that photo there shows that it's a much, uh, uh, that, that it was an incomplete picture being presented uh, in those tweets claiming uh, that the Ukrainian army was preventing civilians from finding uh, safety. Okay, and you've been looking at a video as well that's been flagged as uh, fake news and it seems to claim that the uh, civilian casualties in Ukraine are, are, have been exaggerated. Tell us a bit more. That's right. So uh, this uh, is a video that uh, has um, kind of found an awful lot of uh, new incarnations, so to speak. You see, you see here uh, body bags and indeed uh, one particular uh, crisis actor, as the term is often used uh, in, I suppose, uh, the, 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 the corners of the web where people think that a lot of uh, a lot of news stories are in fact uh, theatre. In any case, what, what you see here is somebody emerging from a body bag and up here in the top uh, right corner where you, have the, where you have the legend, Ukrainian crisis actor, watch the body bag. Now, a lot of uh, different variations of that same theme with that same root video have been doing the rounds of social media. In, except that was actually a, a video that was filmed in Austria in February of this year. It was a, a climate policy demonstration. These people were, um, I suppose, showing the, 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 the risks of global warming and the risks of fatalities linked to global warming. But it was a complete piece of theatre, uh, Tom, and it has nothing at all to do with what was going on in uh, what's going on in Ukraine. Uh, but it, that video was being used to argue that the casualties in Ukraine were much greater uh, uh, and that the news, uh, the news, I suppose, coverage of it was exaggerating the reality of the civilian casualties on the ground. OK, so fake news uh, doing the rounds, clearly uh, a war of information and narratives. Absolutely. Doing the rounds. Thank you so much, James Creed. Thank you for today's edition of Truth or Fake.